Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we are going to be zooming into the Bitcoin chart, going over the current trading range and how we are expecting price action to progress over the coming week. I actually really want to keep this one short, sweet and concise for you, not filled with irrelevant information, just straight to the point what you want and that is the technical analysis levels that we can be trading from literally right now. So, yeah, the range currently, we obviously found that resistance up around the, the daily level of resistance to around $48,000. Okay, we've obviously tapped this once, two, three, four times for eventually making our way down. Oh, this was, this was absolutely beautiful. If you love technical analysis like I do, which I presume you do as you're here, this was beautiful. I just want to play you this, you know, literally five second clip from the last public free video that I made for you. See our range low, which is coming in around 46,600. Again, if we lose the range low, you hear that? 46,600. We are recognizing that range low and obviously also recognizing the range high. And it took a few days, but we obviously come up to around that 48K, big rejection to the downside. We got the retest of that level, ultimately remaining range bound. We had our range high back down to the low, back up to the high. And then we got that final move to the downside early this morning, uh, where we finally hit that 46,600. So you can see the absolute, you know, the absolute power or skill here in this market when you can recognize a range that is going to be formed before it was even formed. Okay, so remember, back, back on the 28th of March, when I made that video, there was no range, there was no there was no range, okay? And it was a case of recognizing the highest probability is what's happening right now. So let's just think about the market. And again, this is relevant to you. Just think about the market right now. What do you think the general market participant is doing? I would say the general market participant is very, very, very bullish or in a scenario where they they missed the bottom. They, they didn't long the lows because they were expecting lower. And they are now almost in a FOMO state of mind thinking, oh my God, I need to buy now. I've missed out the massive pump. Like it's the end of the world. You know, I, th I think the majority of people are, are very bullish feeling FOMO. Okay. But as technical traders, what do we know that we have here? We knew that we have a significant level of resistance. Okay. So for us, we cannot allow FOMO to come into our books. We have to remain professional. We have to remain calm and collected when we are approaching these trades. So while the majority of people in the world are going to be FOMOing long, feeling like they've missed the move and it's going to continue up to $100,000, us as professionals are coming into here and saying, hey, we've got a level of resistance. You know, this is offering short positions. Okay. What are, what are we doing though within this? We are own, obviously own understanding the underlying context, which is still an uptrend. Don't get me wrong. Still an uptrend, but we can still take hedged shorts or short positions in the opposite direction of an uptrend. Why? Anticipating this range. That's what I'd done two days ago. I anticipated this to form a range and it's exactly what happened. Putting in that high around $48,000 in the end and down to 46,600. Oof, that, that wick, come on, that was special, that was special. Can't say you weren't prepared for it. And obviously we made our way back up to around the middle of the range, which obviously if you just start to look at things such as your volume, you know, you're coming up into your massive point of control. You can see the bounce literally into the POC and, and you know, getting another pullback there. So very well respected technicals within this range. I do admit it's, it's fairly slower. You know, you've got a lot of time to plan and prepare these trades because, you know, Bitcoin here is, you know, in a slow range bound slow. This is two days. You've already had four trades in it. But nevertheless, it's still a fairly slow range. Um, and of course, as traders, we are acknowledging price can break to the upside just as it can break to the downside. We want to hold no real underlying bias that we are actively trading only off of that bias. We have to be open to acknowledging this market, this range can continue the trend and break to the upside. If it does, we simply look towards our next level, which for me remains the monthly NPOC. And if this range breaks to the downside, we simply look to our next support level to the downside. Okay, so we are able to come into this market, look for the shorts up at the higher of the range, look for the longs at the lower of the range, acknowledging that so far in this range, you know, we're walking away with good win rates, um, but eventually one of these trades will result in a loss and that's when the range finally breaks. Okay, so for example, last night, I personally did have my alerts go off and I did take the long, by the way. But if price had just done this and moved down and maybe got an initial bounce and just 
crashed, guess what? I would have just taken a loss on that trade and I've moved on. You know, I'd have moved on. <laughs> Steps can stay in the short position that I have from the range high, close that long and, and, and simply look down towards my next level to the downside. But that is obviously not what happened. We got the nice move. We got the, you know, instant buyback. And then we moved up to the take profit for me, which 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 was the range point of control. It's not really that difficult of a of a trade. You see here, this is the POC. Bam, you wick onto that level really nicely. You also take the last high here, and obviously you start to get another pullback. Which you know, as a day trader, you can obviously have taken a short for this as well. Okay, so what I want to emphasize here, I just really want you all to understand that the need of having the plan, the need of remaining calm, the, reme the, the need of not feeling FOMO, not feeling stressed. You know, if you've missed this rise. You know, that's it. You've missed the rise. Guess what? There's there's always another trade. So you should never feel this feeling of, you know, because a lot of people are. And I, I, I do these videos to help you because I know the pain and struggles that people go through. But I can tell you everything is going to be all right. And I'm not just saying that because I know everything will be all right because it doesn't matter if you miss this move. It really doesn't matter. The worst thing that you can do is like just FOMO into it randomly now thinking, you know, that's the way to get wrecked. That is the way to get wrecked. If you actually want to seriously make money consistency, consistently in the long term, you have to, you just have to understand the fact that is, there's always another good opportunity and your best trade is always ahead of you. You know, think about myself. I've done some pretty legendary trades, let's be honest, but I always, always I love to wake up in the morning and think, hey, today I could do an even better trade than some of the other trades that I've done in the past. And that for me is exciting. It's exciting. It really is. But it's 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 a fact. Like our best trades are ahead of us. So when you understand that, if you've missed this move, it, it simply doesn't matter. You have to approach this as it doesn't matter that you missed it. Or let's say you lost money on it. Hey, it doesn't matter if you lost money as long as, as, long as you're learning from your mistakes. Why did you miss the trade? Why did you lose money? What went wrong? What can you do to improve that to make sure it doesn't happen again? Yeah. So really, you're not taking a loss. You're taking a lesson. Yeah. As long as you've got the right mindset, it's absolutely fine. And if you made money on the rise, then hey, <laughs> hunky dory. But what the worst thing that you can do is get overconfident and start to think you're ahead of everybody else in the market. No, we got to remain calm, collected, simply looking for the next high probability trade. No. So that for me is once again this range that we're currently. I thought this was going to be a quick video, but hey. <laughs> we're still currently remains bound 4600 up to $48,000 simply if we break the range high we can look towards the MPOC like on a monthly if we break our range low of course we're just going to look down towards our next level of support I'd be looking at the single prints okay I think the single prints are going to be something that we're going to absolutely have to pay attention to if you don't understand the single prints by the way obviously you have to come across to actually there, there's there are some software I, I'm not sure how many of you know this but uh Atis by the way Atis is completely free so if you don't want to I'm just giving you an option if you don't want to actually use Exo then then Atis is, is a completely free software um you know it's zero <laughs> zero dollars for crypto so that's just an option that you're I'm throwing out there if you want to ha help have help with Atis or the templates chart champions we've done literally the <laughs> hundreds of hours of work they create takes to create templates and um you know, we've got all of them on our website. So we actually have templates for Exo Web, Exo Desktop, and Atus. So uh, yeah, Atus is free software. If you want to take advantage of that, we got all the templates. Um, anyway, I digress. And um, yeah, I would like to talk briefly about altcoins as well, because I still truly believe the altcoins have lots of opportunities. I'd like to briefly touch on that. I just want to do a few quick announcements before we end. See, this was this was the bounce of a 46600. A few announcements um, that I'd like to do here. The the first one is actually not an announcement per se, but just a read of this. Yeah, this video is going to be longer than 10 minutes. I want to read this through because I actually feel it's just so important. And even if you've already read it off of Twitter, I can just emphasize it because it's it's truly as important. Um, yeah, so let's let's read it out. So it was obviously done by Tom, an absolutely legendary trader. Okay. And you know, I, I summarize this by just saying every morning you have two choices to continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase them. And for me, it's great to see those that have put in the work succeeding. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely brilliant. This is a person inside of the group studying. Look at this. This is beautiful. They've got out their coloring pencils. They've got out, you know, that they're, they're writing up, they're studying the materials. I think this is just absolutely outstanding. And this is what if you follow me, you, you understand that the need of, of educating and empowering yourself and yeah, you understand that this is this is beautiful, <laughs> not only as a mentor, but as a fellow trader to see someone so passionate about it. You know, success is inevitable. OK, and I, I thought that was beautiful, by the way. Um, but I also want to read this out. 
Okay, and you can also pause and, and read this because it's helpful. So if you are within the group, or even if you're not within the group, it's a good thing to be aware of anyway. But this was posted in the Psychology of the Champions section. Okay, we understand the need of, you know, conquering the emotional side of trading. And so this was a really nice write-up by Tom of, you know, helping people, aiding them in how to manage their time, how to, you know, respect and create goals almost. And understanding that, you know, the, the, the amount of time that it will take. I actually want to bring emphasize, emphasis to this last bit of the post, which says, in many years here in the group that he has seen many people come and go, most of them just couldn't do it. If you want to be on the 5% that succeed, then just never give up. And I, and I, you know, just totally agree with that. Of course, people come, people go, people think it's too hard, whatever reason they might have. But the only person holding them back is, is themselves because, you know, you just have to look towards the inspirational people within the group. OK, if you cast your, you know, cast your minds to Eagle, cast your minds to George, you know, cast your minds to the all stars, even some of the even some of the champions like you come across into the money shots and see how they're performing. OK, you see like regular names in here of people that are, you know, doing good trades. Oh, my God, look at this. Like doing good trades. Look at this. PNLs going up and up and up 20 years old. And look at the PNL there. It's just like. It's, it's a similar outcome of the people, you know, without me even telling you who the people are in the group that are really, really, really changing their own lives, okay, by the help of, of the coaches. But th th it's them at the end of the day that are putting in the work, okay? I mean, I mean, just absolutely legendary. So, yeah, that was the first thing that I want to bring your attention to. Don't give up. You know, we're here for you. We can help you out. And, um, you know, anything that you need, of course, we, we, we are there, period. We, we really are. And obviously, if you want the daily live streams, George has got the daily live streams every single day. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant, to be honest with you. Uh, the second thing that I want to bring your attention to is that if you do not have any money, you just want to continue with the free stuff. We got the free newsletter um, where we're going to actually be going through the latest price action. So even if you are within the group, even if you're not within the group, you more, all of you might as well join the newsletter. I'll leave that in the comments in a pinned comment down below that's just the sign up link for the newsletter where really simply you just need a name email address and you know you can join that absolutely free newsletter um and i think that was it in terms of the announcements okay uh yeah that, that was it so bringing it back over to the altcoins now okay i've told you once and i'll tell you again altcoins perform best when bitcoin is range bound and ethereum against bitcoin is also doing well and we are in a scenario recently where you know, Bitcoin is ultimately still range bound. Yeah, it's obviously come up to a harmonic target and over the past few weeks has been very volatile to the upside. But ultimately, it's actually been a it's been positive for the altcoins. But why is this being? Because Ethereum BTC continues with strength. So although I tr actually trade Ethereum against USDT Tether, I still monitor and track ETH BTC. So this is basically the, the strength of the Ethereum against Bitcoin. And if Ethereum is strong against Bitcoin while Bitcoin's moving up, well, that just means there's even more strength in the alts, no? Because Ethereum is basically the leading indicator for many alts. So it's important to do your analysis on ETH BTC, even if you do not wish to trade it. OK, so, you know, the tip that I'll give you in this video is monitor ETH BTC, monitor, obviously, Bitcoin. And if these two are moving in tandem, they're moving with strength and it actually opens up more opportunity for the alts. I mean, some of the alts that I've been calling in the group recently are, have been pretty, pretty insane, let's be honest. <laughs> but it's just like you got to you got to. Still, even though there's massive opportunity and massive volatility, it's still a simple case of like planning out these trades, looking at supports, looking at resistances and taking, you know, just taking that trade and not getting scared, essentially, because a lot of people are going to be fearful with this really big volatility. But there's, there's nothing to be scared of. The opportunities truly are gigantic. The opportunities are massive right now. And it's a simple case of, you know, there's a hundreds and thousands of different altcoins to trade come across onto Bybit and just take a look at some of the options. What I would do is take a look at the ones that, I'm, oh my God, look at this. It's a, I'm a Minza killer, by the way, still. This is up another 54% today. We called this, I called this one in the group before the pump, by the way. So there's no excuse <laughs> all of the champions not to be happy about this. I'm still in it, by the way. But I mean, like Zeal, obviously Vet was another one that I called in the group. Um, you know, there's eg. There's a lot of altcoins uh, with, with with extremely big moves. What's a GMT? I'm not in GMT, but that's up seventy five percent. I will. You know, eg. There's a there's just absolutely an insane amount of volatility right now, which is really really good if you're a skilled trader to take advantage of. Um, you know, and it's a simple case anyway of coming in, doing your analysis on the altcoins, looking where support, looking at resistances, and taking that trade. Don't be scared. Don't be fearful. 
you know, simply take the trade. Oh, Sol was another one that I called, by the way, which which I'm still in. But anyway, kind of irrelevant. I suppose I'll end with this. If you want to see more or from me on the altcoins, I actually done a whole, this was a two hour live stream, just a random live, look at this, this late at night, <laughs> late night live stream for all of the contenders and all of the champions this was, where I went in depth on the altcoins, done some Elliott wave counts, done some accumulation patterns, and, you know, for more for a long-term perspective, you know, we're talking about two, three, four, five months into the future. You know, this aids you having this karma collected feel when you uh, uh, recognize hey this is accumulation we still have a few more months left of this there's no need to rush in but we can take this slow you know slow with a really good plan uh and even if you don't trade it just for like the understanding what i'm looking at every single day i mean people will say it for themselves <laughs> They feel people people feel genuinely lucky to lucky to have found chart champions at Cambridge level education. But you can see a lot of lot of people really really like these updates. Um, so yeah, that's that's the other thing that I will bring your attention to. Oh, the last thing I do have a live stream tonight. This is a contenders live stream uh, that will be hosted tonight at uh, nineteen thirty GMT. So if you're interested in that, that will be about hedging. So this is an educational live stream on hedging part two. Um, of course, if you miss the live stream, all of the educational content can be watched back whenever you need on demand. Um, so yeah, there's all that good stuff, obviously, on our new website. So a few things I'll remind you with to end. If you want the daily updates, so a reminder, Chart Champions is not just me. We have a whole team of coaches and trading assistants here for you every single day uh, to assist you. So you know, just a reminder, you know, Chart Champions now is bigger than me. And all of those are, you know, alongside me to assist you, you know, to, to help you in your trading. Second reminder would be that if you want the altcoin stream, uh, that's obviously for the contenders and champions. Third, third reminder, I got a live stream tonight, again, for the contenders and champions. And I think that is about it for now. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. I hope that it's uh, assisted you in understanding the current trading range, how we look to trade the break of this range when it breaks, and how we are also coinciding this with the altcoins. Of course, it's a fairly light overview that I do in these public videos. If you want to see <laughs> this in a lot, lot, lot more detail, you can join in for the members live stream tonight. I'll just say thank you. Wow, this was not a quick video. <laughs> I will say thank you ever so much. I, I just I just start and I can't stop when it comes to trading. So I'm just going to stop down. I'm going to say thank you ever so much and I'll catch you in the next one, everybody. Um, of course, do these videos for the education, entertainment um, only, no financial legal advice at all. Um, so make sure you understand that trade disclaimer. And yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Have a good one.